I am Pranvira Husseini, 24 years old, from Republic of Kosovo. I study geography at University of Pristina and I'm the founder and director of the Astronomy Outreach of Kosovo program, which is the largest um, astronomy outreach nonprofit organization in our country. Growing up, I figured that we didn't have any astronomers or observatories or departments that I could study astronomy and for me that was somehow depressing a lot because I wanted to become an astronomer and uh, knowing that I couldn't, it wasn't very easy to accept that. So uh, I never actually accepted it. I collected a couple of telescopes uh, which were sent to me by astronomers uh, from United States and Germany and Australia and I use them a lot to do activities in schools and also share it with people but after I always going out there and seeing the excitement of the people looking through my equipment made me realize that we need an organization, we need a group that we want to share astronomy and of course it was just me back then but after founding AOK uh, I met a lot of other students who had the same passion as I do about uh, cosmos, about exploring the skies. We managed to go to so many schools and public squares and give the opportunity to every kid, to every family to view the planets, to view the sky, which they never did before. No one ever uh, got a telescope in our country to show us the skies. And for the very first time, something like that was happening and we were very proud of that something new we started. My organization has made an amendment to the Parliament of Kosovo, uh, which has to do with building the first observatory and planetarium to uh, our country. And fortunately, the Parliament has approved our amendment and 68 uh, deputies have voted uh, yes for that project and we're very excited. Right now we're on the procedures with the Ministry of Education and finally we're going to have an observatory that we're going to learn from it. I was speaking at Northeast Astronomy Forum in New York which is uh, one of the world's largest astronomy fair. Uh, I was talking about this uh, observatory that we want to build but we were going to have the construction, but not the telescopes. And that's the most important thing for an observatory, of course. Uh, and uh, fortunately, I was invited there to speak from Celestron. Celestron is a, a, a company that actually makes telescopes. So uh, after my presentation, I had the CEO of Celestron approached me and he uh, announced to me that they wanted to donate us a 14-inch telescope and come and install it in our observatory once we're uh, done with the building. And I was just shocked. I was so excited because my first telescope that I received was a 3-inch Newtonian. That's a tiny tube. And then knowing that I will have a telescope that big in my own country, it was just really exciting. And then immediately I started thinking about what can we look through that? What programs can we involve? We can look at variable stars. We can look for asteroids. We can do supernova search. All of these are possible from a telescope like that. By founding this organization, we somehow found ourselves and uh, gave us an opportunity to explore the skies and also gave me an opportunity to not give up on my dream of becoming an astronomer or a planetary scientist because if I didn't found AOK, -okay, we would perhaps never have any telescopes in Kosovo. We would never have a dream of building an observatory or maybe someone would in the future but uh, I am very proud that this happened and it's becoming bigger and bigger every day. When we think of astronomy, we think of something bigger than ourselves. We think of something that we haven't had the opportunity to touch yet. And we want to know what that is. And this will lead us to questions of where we came from and what is our mission here and where are we going next. And I think it's very important to, uh, to look at the perspective how small we are in the universe and what can we 
make in the universe? What, what difference can we make here and what, how far can we go with the exploring? My country unfortunately doesn't have a space program yet, but we were very much inspired by these events that were happening. Of course, I wasn't born back then, but I grew up learning about these astronauts, about Neil Armstrong stepping on the moon and um, changing the history. And uh, this made us believe that uh, humans can accomplish so much, but only by working together. And uh, it, it also made us understood that it's important to reach for other worlds and also it made us believe that we can do the impossible.